Hi, this is Billy Gerritsen from Game Salads Game Team 1, and this video is going to show you how to set up your Game Center achievements uh, through iTunes Connect. So anyone with, a, uh, with an app on the, on the uh, iTunes App Store is familiar with this interface of uh, iTunes Connect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Manage Applications, and uh, I've already set up an app that we're going to use. Uh, otherwise, you would add a new app and you'd associate it with your bundle identifier and do all the kind of basic setup. And once that's done, um, in your in your app page, you can uh, go to Manage Game Center. So we'll click on that. And uh, in this test app, uh, I've already enabled Game Center. Uh, if you disable it by default, this is what you'll see. You'll see Game Center if you haven't enabled any uh, leaderboards or achievements. So what you do is you enable it, and now you get the choice to add uh, leaderboards or achievements. Um, let's go straight to achievements. So click the Setup button, and you go to your achievements landing page. Um, you don't have any achievements set up, so the first thing you're going to want to do is click the Add New Achievement button. Once you've clicked that, uh, we come to the Setup page. So um, you get a couple fields up here, and this is kind of the, the, uh, the high-level information. This is stuff that the user's not going to see, but this is stuff that's important for uh, when you link it up to Game Salad. So in the Achievement uh, Reference Name, that is, uh, that is your personal reference name. So you can name it whatever you want, something that's easy to, to, to understand. So this one, I'm just going to put uh, Test Achievement. Let's see, let's say test achievement for the video. Um, and the achievement ID, the next field down, that's the most important field uh, of this setup because that's that's the entry point for how uh, your game salad game is going to communicate with the game center achievement server. So for this one, I'm just going to put um, uh, test underscore achievement uh, underscore at one. Uh, you, that can be anything you want, any string you want, um, but I would say as a good rule of thumb, you're going to want to use something that um, you can, uh, I would say, use a naming convention that makes it easy for you to uh, organize your achievements, uh, whether you do it via tables and game salad uh, or just your own organization. So test achievement underscore one, and if, let's say, if I made more achievements, it would be underscore two, underscore three, etc. So the next, uh, the next couple settings, uh, hidden, yes or no, uh, Game Center allows you to hide uh, achievements if you want until the player has unlocked them. So if there's like kind of like a secret uh, reward that um, you want you know, the, the player not to know how to unlock, you would want to hide. Otherwise, by default, you're probably just going to want to click no for hidden because um, you know, it's kind of nice when you can give your, your players some instructions for how to unlock something, and it kind of gives them a goal. Um, and the point value, now this is, this is something pretty common to most achievement uh, services. Uh, uh, essentially, your game is given a thousand total points that can be awarded for it, um, and each achievement is worth a, a value, and the sum of all your achievements in your game is going to uh, add up to no more than 1,000 points. So that's your hard limit. Uh, otherwise, your Game Center achievement can be worth anything up to 100 points. So for this particular achievement, I'm going to set it up for 25 points. All right, so that's kind of the high-level setup. And now let's set up uh, what the user is going to see. So um, in the section here called Achievement Localization, you're going to click the Add Language button, which is going to bring up this uh, little interface. Uh, by default, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to the language that you set your, your app up for. So mine is set up for English, so it sets it up for English. Uh, the title. So this, these these next couple fields are things that the user will be able to see. So let's say the title for this one. I'm going to call it the Super Awesome Award. Um, and uh, when when the when the user is looking at the achievement list, that's what they'll see as far as the title for this particular achievement. Now the next two fields are essentially the descriptions that will be visible below the title when viewing the achievement and you've got the pre-earned description and then the earned description so uh, you can choose to change your message based on whether the, the user has uh, unlocked the achievement or not so for this particular example in the pre-earned description I'm gonna put in the instruction for how to actually earn the super awesome award so for this one I'm gonna say shoot down a million enemies um, and then the earned description, which, which will be the message that will be displayed after the user uh, shoots down a million enemies, it'll be, wow, you are 
super awesome. Um, and because they're super awesome, they get the super awesome award. Uh, and the last part is the image, right? So the image is going to be an icon uh, that you associate with the um, with the achievement. So uh, you don't have to be anything special if you don't want. You know, it could be your app icon uh, for all Apple cares. But you know, if you, if you want to take the time to really make the the user experience really really elevated, uh, I would suggest making a custom icon for each achievement in your game. Because then it really does feel like there's a there's like a collection aspect, you know. There, there's a, a real reward component to unlocking achievements. So once you've set all of that up, uh, you can then save your your uh, your settings. So once you save that, you can see everything in this interface is now filled out correctly. And we'll click the save button, and it'll take us back to the achievement landing page. And you'll see now our achievement is properly set up. Um, and I would say pay special attention to the achievement ID field right here that we set up because in uh, in the next step we're gonna hook up your game salad project to game center using this achievement ID. All right, thanks.